Ministers from 159 countries have reached a deal intended to boost global trade at a meeting in Bali. The World Trade Organization's first comprehensive agreement involves an effort to simplify the procedures for doing business across borders. Linda Yu looks at the significance of the deal. What's most notable about this breakthrough in the current round of discussions within the WTO is that it's actually the first comprehensive agreement, well, in about 12 years since the so-called Doha round was launched all the way back in 2001. So what it's saying is that the WTO still has a role to play in trade. Now, if you peel back and look at some of the details, you find that it's actually very small measures which have been agreed. So, for instance, an agreement on what's called trade facilitation. So that's to try and equalize standards to allow the nearly 160 member countries of the WTO to be able to trade their goods slightly more easily. And there's also a few concessions given in terms of market access into rich countries for developing countries. All in all, that adds about an estimated a trillion U.S. dollars to world trade. That's nothing to be sniffed at. It does increase world trade by about, well, 120th. But when you look at the statistics for trade having stalled last year, any little push will be important. The big question, though, still remains for a multilateral trade organization like the WTO. They're likely going to have to do much better in terms of investment, opening up markets to agriculture and services if they want to stay relevant in an era where more and more countries, especially the big ones like the United States, are pursuing trade agreements on a regional or bilateral basis because, well, 12 years is a very long time to wait for a multilateral trade deal. Stay with us on BBC News still to come.